before I got on to join Facebook, actually to find a woman in Richland who I didn't, well, I think I found her, but uh, she seemed to disappear shortly after. But, anyway. Um, I'd been off. Uh, I hadn't used, uh, I, had, I didn't have a computer for a decade. I had gone to the library a few times for um, just short, short, short um, email bursts, but that's about it. Anyways, I had found a letter from from Yukani inviting me to come over to Europe, and I had to toss it because it was uh, near 30 years old. <laughs> I mean, it would be now if I had kept it. I mean, it had been, I had moved, um, you know, half a dozen times and you had moved probably at least that many times since then and uh, well uh, at least one of my letters had bounced back from a camper five miles from the Canadian border to an Air Force base in Germany um, <laughs> well I suppose I should have tried sending it again or sending it. Anyways, uh, Europe didn't interest me very much at the time. Well, mainly because, well, I wasn't working yet. And I was living the adventure of a lifetime. Um, yeah, five miles from the Canadian border. In the Alaskan wilderness, on the edge of a swamp, in a camper, our friend was building his cabin. Actually, it wasn't a cabin, it was a mansion. <laughs> uh, we were peeling logs for him on occasion, just for, um, you know, kind of a project. And... The weeds were as thick as a thumb. Five feet high, the, the, they were like, the, the, the leaves were as big as hands, like maple leaves with stickers on, on, the, on the back sides. And if you grab these things without gloves, they would stick in your hands for days on end. They're too fine to pull out. So you're pretty much stuck. These are called Devil's Club. And if there was any blood left after the mosquitoes bit you, horse flies would, uh, you would see some serious blood after they bit you. I had been coming to Southeast Alaska Every summer from Seattle up to Skagway and back from third grade on, but just on a ship, maybe going ashore just as long as they were there, just just long enough to load and unload. That's it. Uh, sometimes longer if they needed to, depending on the tides. But but this time we were on shore. I mean, we were here to stay. Waiting to buy land. We were about 35 miles from the water, which is the town was right on the water. Halfway between us and town was the largest gathering of bald eagles in the world. That being because the river didn't completely freeze over in the winter in that spot. And in the fall, they would all gather from all over. And that was, yeah, about 18 miles out. And the Canadian border was really obvious. It was just the two shacks.